everybody, it's Mama J. Inspector. We are here with a different type of unboxing. These are boxes? Well, they're not really boxes, they're packages. How does a pop Obviously, there? there's no pop in there. <laughs> um, this is a new rabbit hole. Want to guess what's in that new rabbit hole? Um, well, it's kind of hard. So is it tile? <laughs> it's not tile. I know some of them are heavy as tile. They are comic books. Comic books? Comic you mean the books. things I read on my phone? The things you read on your phone, but these are live comic books. So, this one is from Big Will. The other day they did a pop-up shop, uh, JB did, and you go on and they put up comic books um, and you choose which one you want to purchase. First come, first serve. You yell it out fast enough, it becomes your comic book. Then you pay for it. It's better to try to buy more than one because shipping is usually, I notice, for most people the same whether it's one or nine comics. Um, some people have a different if it's one and five or five and nine, but... So you have to spend more and you get the same shipping. Pretty much. But, you know, if you're going to buy them, might as well buy them, right? So you better be quick or you can get none. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, okay. Oh, this says... Oh, it just has her. All right, so I'm guessing... I'm not really sure what that is. I guess you just need to cut along there. Don't cut my books. Now, I bought some different ones from a few different people, so I'm not sure which ones are in which ones, to be honest with you. That tape was just stretchy. Yeah, it was. Okay, save that. We might need that. I'm not sure for what, but we might. It's actually <laughs> on, like, specific comic book senders. Is it? It says comic supplies. Oh, wow. Gemini comic supplies. So. And I've heard them talk about Gemini. We're still new to all the comic book stuff, so, you know, we're learning. But I got a pile of comic books here we can look at. So this one's nothing. It's just the board. <laughs> that was a cool All right, cover. so this one. This is a, a signed Superman Doomsday. Oh, yeah, I bought a um, Superman a lot. From 92. I was looking for the date. Super cool. That's pretty cool. Um, also, there's that comic book association sticker that no longer exists anywhere. Is that what that is? Yeah, that's what these are. Oh, okay. That's the company that Stan Lee shut down. Ah, okay. So, this one is also signed, which is kind of cool. And this one is The Death of Superman, and this is from... Should be over there somewhere. January of 93. Wow. This is actually really cool. Um, I, I'm not even going to lie. My biggest attraction to comic books, I mean, is the covers. Some of these covers are so amazing that it's, you know, hard to... But this one has a signature on it, too. I'm not really sure who they're signed by. Maybe, like, the illustrator. But they are signed. So they um, are and they do have numbers signature. right here because this one says... 1993 two, so I'm assuming this is number two. I don't know. Like I said, we're brand new, so we're gonna learn more about comics as we go on, kind of like when we started with pops. And here we have. They're all signed, actually. Another signed Superman one from '93 of February. Uh, this one just says Superman. So that one's kind of cool. Got a Batman throwing his cape. Okay, see, that says funeral for a friend number four. This one says funeral for a friend number three. That's an eight. I mean, eight, duh. That's a huge eight. It is an eight. I don't know why I said three. Probably because I said four there. Um, that one says number six, but this one says number ten. And they are four apart, so that must be the number they are. Yeah, so this is probably like the sixth one of the year 93. So that's another cool cover. So that's actually pretty awesome. And then this one, I actually think is the, probably the best cover. And it's just uh, solid black. 
with the Superman S. Actually, this cover is really cool. Um, it doesn't have like a year or anything like that. You probably have to open it to find that. Probably. This one is from 93 also. And it says back from the dead. Superman number 11. That's actually a really cool cover. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it comes up. But that's an awesome cover. So this was a Superman lot I had bought. Those are really cool. Like I said, we're brand new to comics, so we are slowly learning. Um, I, I'm not even going to lie. Most of the purchases I bought were purchased um, based on covers or what the storyline was in the comics. So, so here's a question. Yes. Are you planning on reading any of these? I will probably open some of them and read them. And then others of them I'm buying like... Because I just want them. Okay. Is that so bad? I'm going to put these back in the uh, Gemini Supplies comic book shipper. So we don't accidentally throw them on the floor. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to throw them on the floor. Yeah, because I know that a couple times I'm like, oh, I'm not going to buy that one. I don't want to spend that much on something new until I learn more about it. Do you want to tell the story or shall I? Which one? The Wolverine one. Oh, I think that book's in here. Well, let's see if the book's in there, and if not, then I'll tell the story. It says, Welcome to the Comic Collecting. Wonder Woman is a great character. Greg Ruka started her current run, and E. Willow Wilson, Miss Marvel, is currently writing her COVID-19 with Standing. Kelly Sue DeConnick wrote a book called Historia, I think. <laughs> which will be published by DC's Black Label at some point in the future. It's about the history of Amazon before Wonder Woman left. Should be good. Enjoy. Tacoma. Tacoma, which I'm going to drop this video pretty quick because I know sometimes we sit on videos a long time before they get dropped. But we are actually doing the Comic 4 Pop Mystery Box Swap with Tacoma. We gathered 10 <laughs> comic, or we gathered 10 pop channels. And he gathered 10 comic book YouTubers, or comic YouTubers, comic book YouTubers. Comic channels? They don't like to be called comic channels. They like to be called YouTubers. That's what he told me anyways. So we are pop channels, Funko channels, Funko community, pop community, whatever you want to call us. Pop exquisite extraordinaire YouTubers. Okay. Um, anyway, so we're going to, our 10 channels, we're going to send 10 comic book channels pops. Those 10 channels are going to send 10 pop channels comic books. So okay. swap to try to bring the two communities together, which is something that I know that um, JB was pushing and I was trying to help him with. So again, I have another one of them fancy boxes that you need to cut open. No, no. I have a cat looking to jump up here. And I have my foot currently in her face to help hopefully prevent her. She might jump up here and say hello. Why are you punching, Mama J? Well, because you kind of had that knife for going. I will say it is easier to open pop boxes <laughs> than comic books. It's easier to open pop boxes than comic book boxes. Maybe we'll get those out. Yep, let's slide right out. All right, so again, mother Gemini. and here's a pull tab that they have talked about. So that pull tab comes right off, and I believe they use this blue tape. Um, I don't know if painter's this one is this painter's tape too. Yep. Because they say it doesn't leave like a residue, and it's easier to take on and off. It does not. And this one has a pull tab also. Painter's tape is probably one of the best tapes out there. Yeah. So. All right, so let's go through this pile. This. Are some awesome comic books. So the first one is the new 52 number zero, uh, 2012. Oh, and okay, these are back to back. This one is number 52, number 52. Okay, so these probably go together. Well, this one says November 2011. Which everybody knows, I'm always on the hunt for a Wonder Woman, so I will buy Wonder Woman for sure. And this one is 2012 November. 
So these are really awesome. I like the other cover better. This one in the back? Yeah. Yeah, I think I like the back cover better too. Um, if I had to choose covers from these two comics, but that's pretty awesome. And then this one is Wonder Woman versus the Tasmanian Devil from Looney Tunes. This is from August 2017. From Looney Tunes? Yeah, the Tasmanian Devil. That's not the Looney Tunes Tasmanian Devil. Ah. This one's called DC Universe Rebirth Wonder Woman from 2016 of November. That's a pretty cool cover. Issue number seven of that series. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, this one's issue number seven. So that's a pretty cool cover. And this one is oh, issue like number one. one from, oh, 2016, but it's rated T for teen. Oh. So this is issue number one here. And on the back we have August 2016, issue number one. Um, I know sometimes they do different covers, so I'm not sure if those are the same books. If there's a comic book person out there watching, and you know. Otherwise, we will look it up, because we so will, Sharp and like I said. Martin. So this one has only three people listed. This one has like six. Oh, okay. Well, like I said, we'll, we'll learn more as we go along. Um, okay, so this was the one I paid more for. This this is the one. Okay, I'll save this one till the end. Okay. Because that's the one. Um, then I have this one, which is really cool. X-Men. Um, and this one is from... See the year? Oh, 19, oh, I don't know. It says 1941 to 1991. 50 years down there. Should say right there. Oh, October. Doesn't have a year, though. Well, it has the Comic Book Association thing, so you can assume before uh, the 70s. But it's really a cool comic. I don't know that's before the 70s. I think the company went out of business in like the 70s or 80s. Some of these are like in the 80s, so. But well, that's that a really book cool. Association sticker. Really, really cool cover. Love the X-Men cover. Oh, I love that cover, too. Yeah, so this one here doesn't have any dates or nothing on it. But another cool cover. Now, this one <laughs> was the one that I was watching, and I looked at this cover, and I said, oh, I'm not going to pay that much for a comic book until... We learn more about comic books. and about 10 seconds after she well, said that. Let me that. finish. Yeah, and I'm like, and I'm sitting here, and this is the cover they're showing. And then somebody else asked about the rating of it, like, I guess, like how we rate Pops. And um, I'm just staring at the cover and staring at the cover, and I said, nope, I'm not going to spend that much on a comic book. All this happened in 10 seconds. Yeah, and I even told Spectre. I'm not going to spend that much on a comic book. And then what happened? Oh, Mama J, you want to buy the Wolverine one? Okay. And so I look at him like, did you really just buy that? She's like, but I like the kefir. I did. I really liked the cover. You know, uh, Marvel, Wolverine is my favorite. If I have to pick somebody from Marvel, I'd have to pick Wolverine. I'd have to. Hands down. I mean, I like some of the other superheroes and things like that, but as for a Marvel character, it has to be Wolverine. Because I prefer DC. And DC, obviously, you know, Wonder Woman, Superman, Batman, Flash, all of them. But, you know, Wonder Woman, of course, first. Yeah. But Marvel would have to be Wolverine. I just so, like Marvel better. what do you think of those comics? They're pretty cool. Something different. Um, I know I need to get one of them fancy dancy boxes they use to put them all in. So they're not all sitting all fancy around. Fancy dancy boxes? Whatever they are. They're like, I hear people talk about short boxes, long boxes. I'm not really sure. We'll have to learn all that. Where are we going to put the boxes in here? No, we'll store the boxes somewhere. <laughs> No. You have no room with all your pops. No, my pops are very limited, and we all know that. So, um, But anyways, that's just something new for us. We are going to start um, 
collecting some comic books. We won't become a comic book channel, obviously, because we are a pop channel or a comic book YouTuber. We are a, a pop channel. Going to become a comic pop extraordinaires. <laughs> but anyway, so um, tell me what book was your favorite down below, and if you're into collecting comic books, and you know. You'll see more of them on our channel going forward. All right, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see